Saturday, ICC friends, and welcome to a special episode of the Ice Cream Combos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. So tonight at 8 p.m., BET Networks will premiere their original film, Open. Now, this is a romantic drama that showcases the alternative perspective of open relationships. Now, looking through the lens of polygamy, open teaches viewers the full scope of these oftentimes taboo relationships. Take a listen to this. Brandon is cheating on Cameron. No. Yes. Brandon and I have been in an open marriage for about two years. So you cheat. It's an agreement. I slept with an old friend, an ex, twice, three times. I got to get back and work on this cake. She's my friend. You started it, Ren. You did. I thought that you would choose me. A BET original movie, Open, premieres Saturday, March 14th at 8. Okay, so as someone who is totally intrigued and shook by polygamy, I was drawn into this film, Hook, Line, and Sinker. So earlier this week, I had the amazing opportunity to sit down with Essence Atkins and Keith Robinson, the stars of Open, to have a convo about the film and to get their thoughts on polygamy. Take a listen and enjoy. Hey, Ice Cream Combos friends. I am here with two very wonderful and talented people today. I'm so excited to be talking to my girl, Essence Atkins, the OG, and the multi-talented. Yes. (laughs) He's an actor. He's a singer, Mm -hmm. Mr. Keith Robinson. How are both of you doing today? Great. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to talk to you about the forthcoming BET movie called Open. Yes. So which one of you are going to give me the scoop on what the film is about before we dive into all the juicy stuff? He's pointing at me, so I guess I'll go. Um, Open uh, is a story of an Atlanta professional couple uh, who decide about eight years into their marriage that they're going to open it up to mm-hmm. dating, seeing, sleeping with other people. So mm-hmm. it explores, um, you know, a polyamorous situation. Um, didn't start out that way. It goes that way. And just kind of what happens to them as a couple. But ultimately, open is a love story. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yes. Anything you want to add, Mr. Key? Um plot wise I think she nailed it um, that's pretty much what it is it's it's a it's a love story about two people just trying to find ways to hold on I guess the overall super objective is what they look to do and uh, I think they think seeking outside sources is going to help them um, and then they find out that maybe that wasn't the case. <laughs> so you play the character of Ren. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about Ren's? Well, Ren is from from Atlanta, and she owns a, a bakery. She's uh, takes it very seriously. You know, she curates wedding cakes and baked goods, and she owns a little shop. And she's married to this amazing man that she feels very blessed to have, Cameron, who is uh, also a professional. He's an architect and one of the best in what he does. Mm -hmm. And um, they've been together. As I mentioned, the movie begins, it's right before their 10-year wedding anniversary. Okay, okay. Um, And 
we're really we're really trying to figure out like Keith said how to how to make our marriage last and it mm-hmm. seems counterintuitive to say you know why would you open up your marriage after 8 years when it's been working but so many marriages as we know you would think end because of infidelity. Right. So it seems like almost an intelligent thing to do. Well, if I can handle it and he doesn't have to be faithful to me, then that should prolong and kind of guarantee our mm-hmm. success. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with this particular topic, mm-hmm. you know, in the past, because I cover a lot of celebrity news and entertainment, you know, you hear certain celebrity couples and things may be dabbling or exploring open marriages. Mm-hmm. And I've been married myself for 11 years. So mm-hmm. this one might be really interesting for my husband and I to dig into. But how what is have your opinions of an open marriage or polygamy? Has it changed after this project filming this project um it didn't change after this project i think it changed when um i grew up you know and i understood that what works for some doesn't work for everyone Mm -hmm. um i think i had a very kind of conservative puritanical stance in terms of what marriage marriage and commitment looked like Mm -hmm. um growing up and it was really not based on experience but based on rhetoric based on movies based on you know what i had been taught from a religious standpoint of what what were the keys to a successful marriage and and how and the confines not just the success of them but the confines and the construct of it and as i've gotten older it's just it's just been apparent in just life experience that that doesn't always work. And so if you still want to be married, which Mm -hmm. I do and I was, then you start asking the questions, well, what does it take to make a marriage work? Because you can't really argue with the statistics that exist, which is that more than 50% in this country end up in divorce. So then I would imagine that you start questioning, well, why is that? We started out in a place where we want wanted to be in this thing and here we are we don't want to anymore and what's happened and you know people say irreconcilable differences or they'll say um you know we grew apart but like when you start getting into things and breaking that down one of the things that I think that people really um are focused on and believe and and are reacting to is infidelity so again Mm -hmm. this story made sense to me um in terms of Personally, what do I think? I don't believe that I could work in a relationship that was this way, healthy why and from a healthy perspective, from a, from a place where I would be um, okay and feel loved and valued. But that doesn't mean that my point of view translates to everyone, and I don't think it does. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you? Um, yeah, I think for me, it answered the question of what it would. I think. Going into it as men, we always joke about having a hall pass. Mm-hmm. You know, if we could just, um, you know, indulge a little bit every so often, it would make things better at home, which a lot of guys say and kind of attest to. But I think what they don't, what they, you know, realize is that the hall pass is two sided. It so is. you know, if you got a hall pass. So does she. So does she. <laughs> at least we, in an open uh, contract. Yes, and and we. And, and, and that ultimately does not work because um, ego and emotions and then you, you, you break down the trust wall and uh, it eventually, you know, you indulging in something it eventually comes back to bite you. And I think that's what this movie kind of uh, sealed for me. Because when I first got it, I was like, this is crazy. Why don't people do this? And I, 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 I didn't want to be get too judgmental about right. it. Uh, and then when you get into get to know the characters, you find that it was a it was an honest effort. In trying to seek a way to make things last, but it was not necessarily the right one, uh, in my opinion. So I I would say this confirmed my suspicions Mm. that openness uh, is (laughs) the exact opposite of what a marriage and what a bond is supposed to be. so I'm glad that Cameron and Ren went down that road for me. Yes. <laughs> yes. See. So he didn't have to figure yes. it out. Uh, on but you know what else is so funny about an open marriage? You think open marriage, but you don't 
I don't think people think about how far open is it going to get. Yeah. Because you just think, oh, we're just going to open it up a little bit. But once you open Pandora's box, then... No, for sure. And I I think, to Keith's point, I also met someone who, according to them, they espoused that it was working for them. So I met with a couple here in Atlanta, a professional couple, black Mm -hmm. couple, um, and they had been open for half of their marriage. They were married... 20 years and yeah. open for half and seemingly it was going well so much so that they were excited about us telling this story because they felt like so much of what was kind of out there in terms of people of color is that um you know you're just a perverted person mm-hmm. and it's like one big orgy and mm-hmm. they had still had boundaries and structure and rules um and it was working for them or as far as i know still is working for them so um I have learned that I don't get to design what other people are doing in their bedrooms. That's correct. Um, And I think that that's just a dangerous thing overall Mm -hmm. that people try to do anyway, is I try to dictate what works for you in your bedroom. And I really have no business in there. You know, it's up to me to decide what works between me and my partner. And once we have an agreement and we're executing that, well and communicating and our respect and trust has been established whatever those boundaries may be then that's between us but i don't think that it's a one size fits all type of situation where i can say oh just because this works for me it'll work for you too yeah i mean with with marriage everyone has their own construct that works for their household or for their marriage Mm -hmm. one of the things that i did um you know just in learning and learning more about polygamy like you mentioned, most people think it's just from a sexual an- mm-hmm. aspect, mm-hmm. like get your cake and eat it too. Mm-hmm. But there are people who are in full blown relation, like nur- nurturing and nourishing and flourishing relationships mm-hmm. with more than one person. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was funny because um, listen, my- <laughs> I th- that such was the case of the couple that I had the privilege of speaking to, and they were very candid. And I, after listening to them, it just sounded exhausting. I was like, all this upkeep. <laughs> Because, you know, again, they are in relationships, like yes, you, like you mentioned, yeah. more than just just sexual encounters. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the amount of conversation that they said they had to have in check-ins, I was like, ooh, yeah. that's yeah. a lot. It, it, it <laughs> yes. seems, it's not enough hours in a day. It seems very it's, dangerous, like, it, in yeah. so many different ways. It's like, you, you don't know, you can't trust that the person you're... Or people you're dealing with are mm-hmm. bringing the same. You don't know what they're bringing to the table. Exactly. Hidden, unspoken, you know, or spoken on. So it's just like marriage. The the thing about marriage is it's about intimacy, and this yes. is this is about this is in direct opposition of intimacy because you're letting right. other people into. It's like you you're doing two different things. You're riding a bike and you're mm-hmm. and you're saying it's jogging. It's like you're doing yeah. two different things. You know. So I I just. Don't you don't see how you can not get hurt trying yeah, to, trying to jog hurt. on the bike. Right. I can, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can trying to jog on the bike. I'm like, girl, stop jogging on the bike. Yeah. You know what happens when you slip off the pedal? It's no good. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you don't know. You don't know what kind of bike they own, really. Because you don't yeah. know who they've been with and who they've been with. Yeah. Then it gets into all other other things and exchanging energy. Yes. And, you know, it's it's a all kind of you know, it's all kind of rashes and stuff. <laughs> it's listen, <laughs> yeah, itchy is no good. <laughs> listen, not the itchies, <laughs> not the itchies. No. You know, it's so funny. My husband and I, TLC, had this show called Sister, Sir Seeking Sister Wife. Yes, I that saw that was my that. show, right? So my <laughs> husband and I, we would sit there and we would watch faithfully every week. And every so often, he would look at me. He would say sister wife and I say brother husband shut that whole conversation it's, down exactly it's cute when you want a sister wife but not when no, you we want can't a, handle it but I, can't. I can't if I can't have a brother husband <laughs> I don't know what it was but it's not like I don't like it was like, a sister, the, like a sister wife so like, so say if hypothetically of course Essence and I were with the same guy we'd be sister wives but if I had oh. Two guys, yeah, they be brother husbands. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> he he was said, like, no, nah. nah, nah, no brother husbands, <laughs> no sister wife. Yeah. What do you think couples or viewers will take away from watching Open? I mean, my hope is just at the very least a conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, both both in terms of with partners, potential partners, and also amongst friends and in our community. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. that you know when we start shedding light on things, particularly mm-hmm. things that are 
known to be taboo, then we really free ourselves. We free ourselves to be honest. We free ourselves to get healthy. We free ourselves to be who we are, to not live in shame. We free ourselves to get help if necessary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's the secrecy that really kills us. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, the black community, we're an awesome community, but we are extremely judgmental, especially if it's something that is just, you yeah, know, that's not for me. You know, we don't tend to say, well, that's not for me, but it works for Essence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll just be like, oh, have you see Essence? Right, yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, yeah, so. We don't, we don't do too much. You know, plus, because our, our mothers, our grandmothers, we came up, a lot of us came up in the Bible Belt. Or, yes, absolutely. Where marriage was this. and. Mm-hmm. You just cheating. You just being, you know, mm-hmm. promiscuous. Mm-hmm. Yes. So to Fast. conceptualize it and put a title on it and make it okay mm-hmm. sounds like we are uh, lukewarm. We dibbling and dabbling in places that we shouldn't be. Yes. Um, so I think people like she's. I think the biggest thing they'll take away is an open discussion, which helps. Mm-hmm. Uh, no pun it, intended. No mm-hmm. discussion. It, See what you did open, right there. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 may, may, may cause some some some. Uh, Stressing some relationships, <laughs> some things might be revealed on Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's the beauty of art, and it yeah. makes it so exciting to be able mm-hmm. to be a part of projects like this that are real to people. Because especially now, because with the uh, dating scene, with this, you can swipe left and get a new partner, yes. and all the dating, and the, the dating apps we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. It is a really, it's kind of dumbed it down as far as finding a partner because you can go out there and hook up with anybody. So it, in, I think it's just hard to date in, yeah, it's in hard the year to, of our door at 2020, just period. Yeah, it's... Uh, so you know y'all preaching to the court. Yeah. <laughs> Both y'all's married. And I'm like, date? What's that? No, <laughs> well, the it, span all the movies stuff, I've yeah. seen have been rated PG. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or G with my son. Yeah, no, it definitely... Like you said, it, it really is about... Um, having so many options at your disposal that really don't require any effort. You don't even have to leave your house necessarily to meet someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that that has definitely made dating, monogamy, all of it um, more challenging. And I think that this conversation, I mean, again, this is one of the reasons, like Keith said, that we we make art is we want it to provoke people. We want people to have conversations. And, um, you know, sometimes it's just an innocuous feel good thing right. you know we're trying to give people an escape thing but this this really was made this movie really was made with the intent and the purpose to get you to talk mm-hmm. yeah I'm excited about this project thank you I am thank for you. you well you know all my reasons I'm excited <laughs> you ever, have you ever seen it right no I haven't seen okay. it yet okay. I haven't seen it yet are you coming to the screening tonight I won't be Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Were you invited? Yes. I was okay. I was, like, I was like, hold, I was like, hold on. on a second. Yeah. Were you on. invited? Okay. Yeah. Get in yeah. trouble. Yeah. Go to dance. Yeah, I know. What's well, Saturday night? Yes. 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 So, what so. time? Saturday night, uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. 8 p.m. BT and BT Her. It's yes. airing simultaneously yes. on both channels. So, oh, that's going to be so excited. I'm very excited for both of you. Thank you. You both are out here killing it. Thank you. You know, I've just been rocking with you forever. Yes. And uh, Keith will be best friends a little later. <laughs> <laughs> <All good. laughs> but it was a pleasure speaking with both of you today. Likewise. Thank and you. And I will encourage everyone to make sure they check this out and continue to support both of you. How can my readers follow you and just continue to support you? Um, I'm at Essence Says on Instagram and Twitter and um, yeah thank you for rocking with me and then I have a, another project that's completely left um, airing yeah. on March 26th okay. uh, that's oh, my son's birthday oh look at that <laughs> alright cool. um, this is a, a docu-series that I did uh, called Behind Her Faith and it's really yes. about um, my walk as a Christian mm-hmm. and kind of an introduction to my relationship with Christ and how it's blessed me and, and um, a little bit of my testimony yes. it's myself, Nisi Nash um, uh, uh, Aisha Hines and um, the founder of The Shade Room mm-hmm. uh, as well um, whose name is escaping me? Angelica. Angelica Nwandu. Um, she is also, it's the four of us, and we're just telling different different aspects of our of our Faith Walk story. Now, and where it's would that be? Urban Movie Channel, okay. UMC, mm-hmm. um, and the first episode is March 26th. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank I'm you. excited about Thank that. Thank you. I know people are going to be like, what kind of crazy? She's talking about an open marriage, and then she's talking about Jesus. <laughs> Listen, you, you can love Jesus. You Let can, him use you. Yes. 
Because you're being a vessel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted. And Absolutely. You're being a vessel. Absolutely. And you? Uh, Keith Sings is, is on my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, season five of Saints and Sinners yes. is on the way uh, in July. Uh, new album, Love Episodic 2, is in July. Awesome. Uh, a couple of songs in this movie. Uh, and then I haven't talked about it. I, I just did a film. I did, well, I, I shot a pilot called The Greener Grass Experiment that I directed and produced and wrote starting in that. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in the midst of in the final edit phase. And, okay. Oh, I got you. And um, I'm excited about that because I've been working on it for like a year and a half. Yeah. And it's the first time I'm getting a chance to kind of put my hands in different aspects of creating. And uh, I got the bug, so I love being behind the camera and, mm. you know, and creating from my own POV. So I'm excited about that. So... I'll be in your neighborhood yes. at some point. Yes, please let me prime. know. And I'll bring the good microphone for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank I will, you. I will we bring appreciate the Yeti. I will we, bring the Yeti. We appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I'm both, I'm, as I said always, love you both. Yeah. Excited for you both. And I've been following and keeping up with you. So it's been a pleasure to come down and Likewise. sit down and talk yeah, with you Yeah, thank today. you for coming. We Absolutely. really appreciate it. Ice cream it. convos. Yes. Oh, what's your, fa what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Don't say you lactose intolerant because you know how we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. I. <laughs> this might be very telling. Chocolate with chocolate chips. Oh, mm. you like chocolate. Huh? Okay. Okay, <laughs> Essence. I'm going to say that. Like okay. Dog, like dog. Mm. I, I, I love cookie dough. Uh, cookie chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream is my. That's my go to. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, enjoy the rest of your day, Thank and you. it was so great speaking with both of you. Yeah. Be sure to visit icecreamcombos.com to watch the official trailer for Open, and then tune in tonight at 8 p.m. on BET and BET Her for the premiere of Open. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast, and be sure to subscribe and drop down in the comments below, and um, let me know, could you get down with a polyamorous relationship? I want to know. Have a great day, and until next time, take care. Bye.